Hi friends, we are going to solve one more problem on the damped vibration. See the problem statement. A vibrating system is identified by the following parameters. The parameters are the first one, the mass of the system is given. So I'll write here the given in the system. The first one is the mass which is 3 kg. The next the spring stiffness is given and that is equal to 100 Newton per meter. The next one is damping coefficient. So the value of C is given and it is 3 Newton second per meter. Now we will have to determine the logarithmic decrement that is delta. They have asked the value of delta logarithmic decrement. Next natural frequency of damped vibration and the ratio of two successive amplitudes. So two successive amplitudes means we can consider x0 by x1 or we can consider x1 by x2 or x2 by x3. So we will have to determine delta x0 by x1 and the frequency of damped vibration. Okay. The frequency of damped vibration means we will have to determine the omega d. Uh, we will determine the natural frequency omega n also and we will determine omega d also. Okay, So I have not written here omega n on omega d. Now we will start to solve this problem. First, we will have to determine the logarithmic decrement. So I will write the formulas which are required for this uh, problem solution. So for this solution, we will require logarithmic decrement and this logarithmic decrement we have two formulas. The first one is 1 by n log to the base e x0 by x1. So if we know the value of delta, directly we will get x0 by x1 which is the answer which is required. So to get this answer we will have to determine the value of delta. Now the formula of delta which when the second one is 2 pi zeta divided by root 1 minus zeta square. So this is the second formula of delta. Now if we know the value of delta we will get this, sorry, we will know the value of zeta, then we will get this delta and we can put this delta here so that we will get this answer. Means to get this answer, we will have to determine the value of zeta. Now, how to determine this zeta? The formula for zeta is C by CC. C means critical damping, sorry, C means damping coefficient and CC means critical damping coefficient. In the problem, they have provided the value of C, means we know this term. And if you want to determine this zeta, then we will have to find the value of CC. So the next formula is CC. CC is nothing but 2 m omega n. So in the problem, they have given the value of m. And if we know the value of omega n, then we will get CC. So I will write here the formula of omega n. So omega n is nothing but root k by m. Okay. So we know the value of k, we know the value of m so that we will get omega n. If I put the value of omega n here, then we will get the critical damping coefficient. If I put the value of critical damping coefficient here, we will get zeta that is damping factor. If we put the value of zeta that is damping factor here, we will get logarithmic decrement. And if I put the logarithmic decrement, we will get the ratio x0 by x1. So to get the all the answers, if I start from this and if I go in upward direction, solving each equation, we will get the answers. So we will pass follow this path. Okay. So initially we will have to determine the natural frequency of this system. So we will start with the answer. First, we will have to determine natural frequency of the system. Now, 
how to determine this natural frequency we know the formula omega n is equal to root k by m okay so omega n is equal to root k by m put the values so value of k it is 100 and value of m it is 3 if i put all these value we will get omega n So if I put all these value then the answer of omega n is 5.77. So the omega n is 5.77. Now suppose if you want to determine the natural frequency fn then fn is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi omega n. So put the values 1 divided by 2 pi into omega n is nothing but 5.77. If I solve this one, I will get the natural frequency of this system and the natural frequency of this system after putting all these values is 0 0.91 Hz. Okay, so this is the natural frequency and this is the circular frequency at the resonance means uh, it is the value of natural frequency, circular frequency. Now, we have this omega n. Now to determine the value of x0 by x1, now we will have to use the second formula that is the CC, that is the critical damping coefficient. So the next value I am going to determine is the critical damping coefficient. So I will write here critical damping coefficient. Okay. Now the critical damping coefficient is 2m omega n. So in the problem they have given the value of m. I will just check the value of m. m is 3 kg. Okay. So 3 into omega n is 5.77. If I put all the values on Kelsey, then I will get the answer of CC. So after putting all these values, the answer is 34.62 and the unit is Newton second per meter. So this is the critical damping coefficient. Now we will move to the formula again. So we have the value of CC. Now we will require the zeta that is the damping factor. So the third answer that we are going to determine is damping factor or damping ratio. So damping factor zeta is C by CC. So just check in the given. They have provided the value of C. It is a 3. So I am going to put this value. So C is 3 and CC is here we have determined 34.62. Put all these value in Kelsey will get zeta after putting all these values the answer is 0 0.08 so zeta means damping factor is 0 0.08 there is no unit to this damping factor now the next one now we have reached to this third formula we have got the value of zeta now from this zeta we can determine this delta delta means logarithmic decrement so logarithmic decrement that is given by delta and the formula is 2 pi zeta divided by root 1 minus zeta square if i put all the values here so the value of zeta is 0 0.08 divided by root 1 minus 0 0.08 square solve this equation to get the logarithmic decrement if i put all the values on calculator 2 pi 0 0.08 divided by root 1 minus 0 0.08 square 
then the value of delta comes out to be 0 0.504 okay so this is the logarithmic decrement there is no unit for logarithmic decrement again so i'll keep this value as it is now the final answer we have reached to this fourth so we know the value of delta now we'll have to determine the amplitude for uh, sorry the ratio of successive amplitudes so the fifth answer we require is ratio of successive amplitudes so ratio of successive amplitude means we'll have to use logarithmic decrement delta 1 divided by n this is the second formula log to the base e x naught by x n now they have asked to determine successive amplitude so successive amplitude means suppose if i plot this graph then they want the ratio of the first x naught and the second x1 so the number of cycles completed here will be 1 so to get the ratio of successive amplitude will have to put the value of n is equal to 1 because it is successive amplitude so i'll put n is equal to 1 okay so log to the base e will get the value of x naught by x1 okay successive amplitude so to remove this log will have to use e raised to 0 0.504 is equal to x naught by x1 so whenever we are going to remove this log then this base will go on that side suppose here we have log to the base 10 then if you remove this log then this side will become 10 raised to and if you remove this e then this side will become e raised to okay so put these values and calculator and you will get the answer of x naught by x1 so x naught by x1 is equal to after putting these values the answer comes out to be 1.655 so this is the answer okay of successive amplitude so this one is the answer they have asked to determine x naught by x1 they have asked to determine frequency of the system so this one is the answer and they have asked to determine the logarithmic decrement logarithmic decrement here we have that is the fourth equation that we have solved so this one is the answer okay so i will quickly revise this one see in the problem they have given the mass they have given the k that is the stiffness and along with that they have provided the value of c c means damping coefficient so from this i know if i know the m and k then we can determine omega n from the omega n we can determine the critical damping coefficient from that we can determine the zeta if i put the value of zeta i will get the delta means logarithmic decrement and if i put the value of delta i am going to get the ratio of successive amplitudes okay so the answer you can see here so this is the answer thank you